one way to sink a Lego boat. But I'm gonna be sinking Lego boats 99 more times in the craziest ways imaginable. Need more proof? All right, time for the game plan. I have to sink all of these boats 100 times because my brother sent me this video. Hello there, Mr. Master Builder. You have to sink 100 Lego boats. And if you do not, I will sink the Lego Titanic because I know it won't float, but I like to see destruction. Yeah. Boat one, kayak. I put the boat in the water with the minifigure and now let's commence the sinking. I started off with a gel blaster. <laughs> We can also do rapid fire. I use scissors. Now we're outside, because I'm going to be melting the boat with this heat torch. And because the boat is going to melt, the minifigure on it jumped off and swam away. But now we can start melting it. As you can see, the kayak started to melt. Boat 2, green raft. I dropped the green raft into the water, and I started by whacking it with a knife. I grabbed a bunch of strawberries out of my fridge, and I dropped them on the boat. I simulated an orca attack. I dropped the subscribe button on the boat, which you should click, because this video costed way too much money. Now for this next one, I attached the boat to a drone, and I took the boat very high, and I'm going to drop it into my pool. Now I have 10 popular YouTubers that are gonna give me ideas on ways to sink a Lego boat throughout this video. And some of their ideas are kind of insane. So let's start off with our first YouTuber, Republic Studs. Hey there, Master Builders. This is Logan from Republic Studs. I want you to destroy a boat like one of these using a gun. I hope that works. All right, I'll grab the BB gun. Now the minifigure jumped off the boat yet again, but I have the BB gun ready to destroy this boat. But before we destroy it, you're probably wondering who this minifigure is. This is Gerald. He's just some random minifigure trying to survive on all the boats. So we'll see how long he'll survive for. All right, back to the BB gun. And there you go, it put a hole right through the boat. Boat three, orange raft. I dropped the boat into the water and I started by dropping a car on it, a Rubik's cube, a bunch of brick separators, and now I'm gonna shoot it with this salt gun. First try. For this one, I'm gonna put Jeff into the boat. I dropped it into a bowl, filled it with water, and put it in the freezer. 24 hours later. And now the boat is completely frozen, so let's drop it into the water. Now it's time for our second YouTuber. And the next YouTuber is Yikes. All right, I think you should use a whirlpool to sink the Lego boat. That's my idea, okay? All right, so I got this spinning tool thing and I'm gonna use it to make a whirlpool. We can drop in the boat and now the boat can be in alive by the whirlpool. Now Gerald jumped off the boat because now we have flashing fireworks in it. So we can use a little fire torch to light them and it gets very bright. Like very, very bright. And after it stopped flashing, the boat was on fire. But this fire isn't even close to how big the fireball is gonna be at the end of the video. Boat four, yellow raft. We'll only be using this boat once because we're gonna be drilling holes into it. I drilled a hole through the bottom and then put it in the water. And it was starting to fill up with water, but it wasn't sinking. So I drilled two more holes and that time it sank. Boat five, Robo. I started by hitting this boat with a hammer. Then I started cooking it with a frying pan. I dropped a Hot Wheels car on it, a bunch of Jeff clones, and some Dave the Deers. Then I simulated a shark attack. After that, I simulated a Kraken attack. I dropped a meteor on it, some slime. Now I brought out the fog machine to make it very eerie. And it's also so Gerald can't see where he's going. Now it's time for our third YouTuber. And it's one of the most popular Fortnite YouTubers, Cypher PK. Can you give me a way to sink a Lego boat for a video? A rocket? What if a rocket launched into the Lego boat? All right, let's burn the boat with a rocket. Gerald swam away because this boat was gonna be toast. Cause I got a mini SpaceX Starship that's gonna burn the boat. 
and instantly it started burning the boat. I made the rocket fly away, and the rowboat just kept burning. It was completely melted. And don't forget, I will sink this boat if you don't take 100. Don't forget. Boat 5, Explorer Diving Boat. I dropped a weight on it. I dropped a bunch of coins. Two times, I dropped a bunch of rocks. I dropped a baseball, a plant. Then I used this vibrating massage thing. And then I used a shovel. Now we're bringing the fog back because I'm gonna be using a laser that melts Lego. And it is the same laser that I used to melt a minifigure in a different video. And the laser slowly melted a hole right through the boat, making it sink. Now I put four smoke bombs into the boat and we're gonna light it and see what happens. The smoke bombs went off, shooting off all different colors. And this is all the damage. Boat 6, mini fire boat. I dropped a cantaloupe on it, a Nerf Vortex, a Pokeball, water balloons, and a ton of nails, which completely sank into the bottom of the fish tank. Next, I simulated a TIE Fighter attack. I threw the boat in my pool because we're gonna drop a brick on it. Then I dropped a ton of dry ice onto the boat which created so much fog it filled up the entire fish tank. It's time for the fourth YouTube channel, which are the brothers making movies for popular YouTubers, Sticks. Another great way to sink a boat would be filled with popcorn. I cooked up a huge bowl of popcorn and I completely drowned the boat in popcorn. The popcorn completely buried it. I strapped two fireworks onto the back of the boat, then we lit them on fire. It spun around shooting sparks everywhere. You can even see some flames come off of it. And the boat flipped over sinking. Boat 7, sailboat. I started by shooting it with a small Nerf gun. This is a fishing weight, and I dropped tons of them onto the sailboat. Then for some reason I got very upset and just started punching it. I dropped a Dude Perfect football, a bunch of marbles, a Lego train, a tape measure, we recreated strong winds with a leaf blower, and I insulted the boat. You are a sad, small little boat. Nobody loves you. I simulated a rainstorm, and then I struck lightning onto the boat. ka -chow! After that, I simulated a pirate attack. I send them down to the Kraken. Fire the cannons! For our fifth YouTuber, I got one of the most popular shorts creators, Dan O'Cow Drawings. Hmm. Did somebody already give you flamethrower? Flamethrower. <laughs> or a little mini dynamite, or firework. Some kind of explosive. Fire involved somehow. All right, we're bringing back the flamethrower. And I'm gonna completely light this sailboat on fire. There's like nothing left. And there it is, all burned. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm losing my patience. I wanna sink this boat. <laughs> boat A, fire boat. I started by dropping a pineapple on it, a fire extinguisher. I sprayed water at it with a hose. I caused the drought. Now for YouTuber number six, I called him my fellow LEGO YouTuber, Brad's Brick Post. You should take a boat and destroy it with a lightsaber. Execute Order 66. Now I'm gonna shoot the boat with a giant Nerf Blaster. I dropped a volleyball on it, and a space shuttle set. Boat 9, Police Boat. This boat's actually pretty cool because it comes with a motor. I dropped a soccer ball on it, I dropped the fireboat on it, I used a weed whacker, 
And now I'm gonna drop a fish on it, which I named him Fred. Can you guys say hi, Fred, in the comments? Now for the seventh YouTuber. He was one of my favorites growing up. It's Evan Two. What's up, Master Builders? For your Lego boat, you need to take five apples and stick them on the boat. And yeah, let's see if it sinks. So I got a bag of five apples and I dropped all of them on the boat. I had to do it two times because it didn't sink the first time. Boat 10, exploration vessel. I dropped a ton of golf balls onto the boat. I dropped oranges on the boat. I dropped four prime bottles. Then I crashed the plane into the boat. And then I simulated a dinosaur attack. This is very realistic. Now it's time for the eighth YouTuber who is one of the most popular Roblox YouTubers, Creecraft. Build a giant Lego like character and print out Queso's face and put his face on it and then put him on the boat. So Creecraft wants me to print out a face of one of the most popular streamers, the one by one Lego piece himself, Queso. What do you mean bros built like a one by one Lego piece? What even is a one by one Lego piece? Here is our giant figure. I cut out Queso's face, stuck it onto the figure, and then I placed him on the boat. And the boat started sinking. Okay, so if you're watching this, please don't ban me. It wasn't my idea. It was Creecraft. Yep, you're banned. Have a good night. After that, I rolled a giant tire on the boat. I poured sand onto the boat. A lot of sand. And now inside the boat, I placed a rocket engine. And I have this remote, which will light it. So let's see what happens. It put a hole right through the bottom of it. I'm about to sink the boat. <laughs> boat 11, exploration ship. I started by dropping a basketball onto the boat, this SpongeBob set, then I used a do perfect bow and arrow. Okay, please sink. I dropped a blender onto the ship, I dropped a watermelon, I caused a giant flood. Next, I called in my shark friends to attack the boats. I honestly don't know why I did that. Now for the ninth YouTuber, I called in my boy Sacred. Alright, I'm gonna challenge you to sink a Lego boat by sitting on it. Hopefully there's a lot of lifeboats, otherwise your minifigures are gonna turn out like me. Boat 12, Arctic Explorer Ship. First thing we're gonna do to this boat is drop the Millennium Falcon on it. Yeah, that was a lot more destruction than I was expecting. I dropped a custom Lego candy machine on it. Then I simulated hail, but just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Bucket. Now I'm gonna simulate a hurricane with strong winds, rain, and hail. There, that did the trick. This is a bucket with 100,000 Orbeez in it, and now I'm gonna dump it onto the ship. For our final YouTuber, it is none other than the B3. It'd be kind of funny to drop a boat from the highest possible distance, like from the ceiling if you can, which might make a giant mess, but it'd be worth it, probably. Well, I have something that might just do the trick. I have a ladder, so I'll be dropping it from as high as I possibly can. Yep, that completely obliterated the boat. I'm gonna see how long this ship will survive in the ocean. It survived the first wave, but let's see if it survives the second. Nope, that didn't work. Now it's time for the one you've all been waiting for. The fireball. We lit the ball on fire. And now we are just about ready to drop it on the fireboat. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, nothing happened. All right, try number two. And this time we put gas onto the boat and we're gonna slowly lower down the fireball. And with the gas, it caught the entire ship on fire. The fireball started dripping down onto the bottom of the ship, starting to light it on fire until this happened. The entire ship was engulfed in flames. The fire was almost as big as the entire fish tank. We used the water inside the fish tank to calm the fire down. And then the fire was all gone. 
The ship was pretty damaged, but other than a little burn on his hat, Gerald has survived. And now we have officially sank 100 Lego boats, which means my brother doesn't need to sink the Titan. Sorry. <laughs>